Father, we thank you for the ministry of your spirit. Amen. We ask, Lord, that tonight you will bless us with such supernatural Amen. understanding. Amen. Let light be shed upon our hearts. Amen. Amen. Let your name be glorified Amen. in such a very significant way. Let everybody be blessed. Amen. Thank you, eternal Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please, you may be seated in God's presence. Amen. Amen. All right, tonight is one of those evenings I want to do something speaking freely from my heart on the subject of refreshing. And I want to try to address something that may be very deep. I hope you would accept this as a disclaimer <laughs> before we get into the discussion. But please let me ask you never how's your day? Let's, let's begin a habit to check on ourselves. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. I want us to get started today with a scripture. The book of Ecclesiastes. Chapter 9. Verse 4 and 5. And chapter 11, verse 9. So we're going to read together. It's up on the screen already. Thank you for that, Nidia. All right, can we try that? Everybody wants to, if you don't mind, want to go. something very profound here. It says that a living dog is better than a dead lion. You know, it amuses me how scriptures thinks. So you must have looked at it that it's like saying a functional Volkswagen is better than a eh? Be- at Rolls Royce. What's your own? Benz? Lambo? Do you know this is very true? Yes, sir. It's better. What it's trying to tell you is that in this life, some things are better. You may not get everything ideal. Ordinarily, your life should be like a lion. So tonight, I want to, I want to try to do something. It's a very um, tricky one, and I'll just share with us now. Let's, though I've given you this scripture, let's go run quickly to Matthew chapter 11, verse 26, 27, and 28. And then I'll come back to the scripture to explain the depth of what I said I wanted to talk about. But the context of what I'm saying really in that scripture, this one we just read, is that a living dog is better than a dead lion. Now, the Bible refers to unbelievers as dogs. It says, if the dog is aware he's a dog, is better than a Christian who is not aware he's a Christian. Mm. Listen to me, I'm coming to you. He calls them dogs. The Bible says, for without our dogs. Have you seen that in the scriptures? Revelation chapter 21. It says, for without our dogs. Outside, by the, by the gate side, the Bible says that beware of dogs. Dogs are used to refer to people who go back to their vomit, as it were, unbelievers or backsliders. All right? Now, he's saying that a living dog, if he is aware, okay, okay, so I, I don't know if you, while I'm still talking, you just call up that without a dogs. It's in Revelation chapter 21, I think so. Verse 4, 3 or 4, something like that. Please double check for me, but I'm very sure it's there. You know, it says without that. So, dogs are used to describe people who don't have a heritage in God's kingdom. Never would you hear the scripture say, I'm the dog of Judah. <laughs> Is the lion of Judah? Yes, sir. You know, there's a reason. Even though you say 
um, you can't be an animal. Yes, but scripture itself illustrates the advantage of animals for his own description. Be gentle as a dove. The Holy Ghost came down like a dove. So, though we are not animals, there are characteristics of animals that we are supposed to, so to speak, demonstrate. Mm-hmm. Am I making some sense? Yes, sir. So, the Bible says, but it speaks about those that they shall mount up with wings as eagles. Why? Are we animal? Are we are we not human? Yes, but there are abilities of animals that humans cannot demonstrate until they deliberately inherit it with consciousness. So the Bible says that be as wise as a serpent. Why will you be telling us to demonstrate the wisdom of the serpent? Is the human brain not bigger than the serpent? Why is it telling you to go for you? I know you are saying yes because you like cats. You see. <laughs> There are many things that you should pick from these things so that you will develop a more holistic ability. So, for example, there are attributes. A pigeon was used to discover how to create a, a pigeon or is a dove was studied to be able to discover how to make a helicopter. That you don't need to run before you fly. That from where you stand, you can flap and escape. That's amazing. Pigeons and doves are very cooperative with man. You can literally send them out and they will come back to you. Amazing, oh, amazing. I was I was somewhere and I saw a lady. Um, I don't know why, whatever was motivating her. You know, she just stood and then before she started to feed the doves, they were already gathering. Before she brought the feed, they already know her. I don't know if you got what I'm trying to say. Yes, they are intelligent too. You know, if they see their feathers, they know how to run away. And somebody has died. So look at his hand. Thank you. Oh, it's 2215. Sorry. He said, For without our dogs. Did you see that? And what did he say? And sorcerers and hormongers. And not you see the, you see what is categorized categorizing as dogs here? Please, are you are you with me? Yes, sir. And murderers and idolaters. And whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. The Bible says you are without. You are without. Now, those that are without don't understand what the kingdom and what, what the children of God are supposed to understand. So, today I just want to start with that to just see your mind, and I'm coming back to the Ecclesiastes scripture. But I just wanted to refer to this to tell you that what dogs are is not a very good thing. The scripture says it's better to be a dog that is alive than to be a dead life. What am I trying to speak to you? I'm trying to say there's no point being a Christian if you're not going to be the best. Mm. No point. There's no point. Just be a proper unbeliever. Mm-hmm. I used to say, if I was an unbeliever, I would be a big class. But do. Oh, you have no idea. I'll be too good an unbeliever. Mm-hmm. I've seen you. There's no idea. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Ma, I promise you, the life of God has made you a lion. Yes, sir. Oh, lioness, that's the case. Man. You get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I'm asking you to do, as a Christian, are you a proper Christian or you are a dead lion? This was a conversation I said to have earlier as a Christian. What kind of Christian do you want to be? The Lion of the Tribe of Judah. Lord, are you a living lion? Are you aware of who you are? Okay, so tell me now, dog and lion, which one do you prefer? Who are you? Are you a lion or a dog? Dog that goes back to his vomit. Dog that is a wild lion. Homonger. You know dogs sleep with anything available. You must not catch them. A dog. What a very useless way to describe someone. No one has to do a dog. That, that common. Do you know what I'm saying? It's a very common, what a dog, careless beast. But we are lions, hallelujah. And you should ask yourself, if it is true I'm a lion, am I truly better than a living dog? Or am I a dead lion? Mm. What kind of lion am I? Do I bring scare to the kingdom of darkness at all? Is there any kingdom of darkness agents afraid of me? 
So I want to challenge us today because the objective of tonight's discussion is, is, is the objectives that is more than one. It's about three, specifically two, but the third one is a B of the second. The first of my objective tonight is to bring us a word of refreshing. To encourage somebody that whatever you've been through is not the closure of your life. Help me show that up properly. You know, so you want to see that first, that look, my life has a journey. I'm on a journey with God. And that that journey will not be intercepted by the kind of challenges I face. And then the second thing I want to speak to is to confirm to us the need for us to rise to that A-class personality, like I told us about. There is an A-class personality. You need to be interested. You need to be interested in being that and more. And by that, I'm inviting us to the spirit of excellence, a life of excellence, which I said is a B of number two. So let's go to that back chapter 11 now, and then I will do that. I missed you guys, Shah. Yeah. <laughs> I missed you guys, honestly. All right, let's do this 26 to 28. Let's go. Everybody, one, two. If you don't mind, one, two, go. It is so, Father. It seems good in thy sight. Hallelujah. Let's read that again. Even so, Father, for so it seems good in thy sight. Let's read on. Verse next. All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son but the Father, neither knoweth any man the Father save the Son, and he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. Are we following this? Now let's look at the next verse, 28 and 29. See what it says. One to go. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Amen. Amen. I, I, did you read that properly? Yes, sir. What did you read there? Go back again. Come to me, all in the labor, and I have been led in, and I will give you rest. Stop. I will what? Give you rest. I will what? Give you rest. Underline that if you have the Bible. I will give you rest. Let's look at the next line. The next scripture. Verse 29. Want to go? Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. The first rest was given, the second is found. Did you notice that? Yes, sir. The first rest was given to you, the second was found. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. I'm coming to that. So he says, take my yoke upon you. He says, for I am... Is that the last scripture? The last verse? I don't think so. There's one more. Yeah. So the last... This should be the last verse. Yes, sir. So what did he say? For, for my yoke is easy, and my word is blessed. Amen. Amen. The Spirit of God wants to gain and ask for help in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, so let's look at this. Today, I want to start by saying to you, like I said, the first session of this discussion tonight is to bring a word of refreshing to your hearts. I don't need to be a prophet to know that everybody in this room tonight has been through tough times. Maybe some of us are still going through one. Or some of us are products of one. You know, I like the leveling opportunity Christianity offers us. It gives all of us a chance to level up. That no matter where you are coming from, maybe your own house, as you came out of the womb, your mother died. Or you came out and then, as we're joining from primary six, we were raped. Or primary seven, they sent to them steal cigar, and then we were caught, we were caught smoking cigar. You know, I'm just trying to say, no matter the background, Jesus gives us a clear invitation today and says, "Come, come." I know of a person whose father was a, I mean, a civil servant, but his real core duty was a harvest. So the child grew up knowing his father and making incantations. I don't know if you are right saying this. And that was narrated from a grandfather. So that's a lineage of occultism or herbalitism. <laughs> I hope you can laugh at that. You know, so there's that story. So you you may never be able to control where you were born. I mean, some of us today, we, we are, the only reason why Christians said is because we are born in 
I don't know if you got a present. Yes, sir. How are you even sure this Christian thing is correct in self? Those are questions that if you don't answer on time, somebody who is a living dog will be better than you as a dead lion. You'll be shouting, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian. So I was a sister was telling me, a, a, a sister in UK, UK um, church was sharing with me just the night before I came back. The pastor, pastor, myself and my son, she's not from Nigeria, so she's a what did you say? Myself and my son, we used to go and preach in on evangelism. In fact, he used to tell people preaching, preaching. And then when he's preaching to them, they, they used to tell him that, you know, longer shots is that they used to tell him, you, what do you know about this? Now, do you know that that boy, from age 10, he started preaching. By age 17, that's his 17, maybe 14, 15, there. He was already arrested for having a gun. He was, already, he was arrested. In fact, they just released him this last session. What happened to him? His light was not yet as bright as the dogs he was trying to convert. Some of us think that because you're born again, you can convert everybody. May your, may your darkness not be stronger than the light. I'll convert it, I'll convert it. Quiet, my friend. That's why I said you need to know where you are. And that's affecting some of us because instead of deepening who you are and getting stronger in your convictions, you are interacting with people that are diffusing your light. So we are not able to see the lion in you rise up. Rather, we are seeing everything around you. You are shouting Jesus, but everything around you is not looking like the Jesus you are preaching. And I'm challenging you today that if by any chance what I'm saying hits you on the right chord, you need to make some adjustments. And this is not so much about the fact that you are suffering. You don't have to be suffering for you to be a dead lion. No. A dead lion simply means an ability that is not conscious of himself. A dead lion simply means a status that you are not operating at. Is that you guys get what I'm saying? Yes. So Jesus starts this conversation of refreshing that I'm speaking about tonight by saying no matter what you've been through, that you have labored, you have struggled, your background was not good. Your background wants to put your back on the ground. <laughs> all those type of things. Yeah, just do whatever you want to do. You know, you know, all of that. What I can assure you tonight is that you have a chance to start afresh with the Holy Spirit. You know, some of us today, you are you are a product of your background, and you really can't deny that. Someone in you, you are you are. You are blistering. In other words, nobody meets you without having a blister. I don't know if you know what I mean by that. Nobody leaves you this. I mean, you leave nobody the same. Your impact is negative, just to be clear. Some of us were a product of a low self esteem. What happened to us is still affecting us. A lady in particular was telling me about how her elder brother took what her mother did to all of them, four children. Who they were in this church for the whole travel. So there's a boy, boy, girl, girl. Do you get that kind of The mother treated all of them the same. But the second born has not forgiven the mother. You know why? He took it personal that his childhood was abused. So as I'm talking to you now, he's still a prayer boy. This was a like day before his night. And this guy is over almost, if, I, if I'm not making a mistake, he's close to 14. If I'm not making a mistake, he's close to 14. What am I just trying to say to you? If you leave your past unattended to, you will soon begin to malfunction in your life. That's what I'm trying to say. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. yes. If you leave some things unaddressed, covering it up, because that righteous and God righteous, okay, you need to fix that conversation. I'm not saying that everything, because there are some very jugular things you must address. For example, self identity is a very important part of our lives. Who are you? You know, some of us were not able to hold anything firm to the ground. We lack the intelligence to even nurture a child because we're not well nurtured. You can't give what you don't have. And I realize that is one of the major bane of mediocrity in Christianity. Our backgrounds, which we might not be able to fault, but that's not giving us the advantage we need in life. 
So we end up using, like I was saying on Sunday, using Jesus as an attempt to survive and live. Whereas I assure you, that post you posted today, that I said that there are two ways to succeed, God and the world. And I said, I can't say that. I don't know if you heard. I was very deliberate. I said, no, I used to say that because of people who say, say that's well. Mm -hmm. World will prosperity is diligence. If you are diligent, you will succeed, sir. The hand of the teacher chapter rule is it's not, it's not. If you are diligent, you will be selected. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes, but I was not saying there's a God factor that comes on Christian's efforts that makes his diligence become favorable. Yes, that he's doing less work to ensure results. Do you guys get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So I want to draw your attention to have you addressed the burdens of your history? Have you considered the things? Because if you become everything, just say I'm born again, Lord, you will soon find out. And I'm saying this as one who is, by the grace of God and by the grace of God, an authority on this subject. That you need to address things that are not clear. Otherwise, you will soon manifest mediocrity very easily. So I'm saying to you, have you been able to touch base with the foundations of your life? And really identify where the, 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 the missing link happened. You grew up in a home. I promise you, if you go by what you grew up in, you will malfunction in adulthood. If you're asking, if, if, that's, if you're not already malfunctioning. And then you, the next question is, so what's the ideal? The ideal is the word of God. So, and don't reduce it to your public opinion. That's why the word of God is central. If I quote word now, it's the same thing I will quote in Canada as I will quote in Canada. It's not a, an opinion. Do you guys get what I'm trying to say? Yes. So I'm not inviting you to hear what I have to say on the matter. That's not my, my issue, which by itself says, I, I forfeit talking now. Yes, but I'm not even inviting you to, to suggest my own to you because your history is different from mine. Hello. Hi. Yes, now. Sometimes when I try to think about my past, I'm not sure if I was an Ajebota or an Ajebaku. I'm not sure. You know why? Because I had the two worlds working simultaneously that I did not quite understand. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, yes I grew up knowing Cyrene in front of my father when I'm following him to school. Cyrene. Oh, 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 oh. I grew up seeing everybody looking at us. I'm not... What's all this? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? I grew up knowing that they would take me to lounge and all of that. But... It was a, I also know I grew up knowing that there was no food in the house. I don't even know what I'm saying. I grew up no food in the house. My mom would be searching the middle of books for 50, 50 cup or 50 naira. That 50 naira that time, and 50 cup was a note that time. And one naira, five naira, because she used to keep money inside books just so that in the day of need, but she has forgotten where the book is. So, which I would join, I'll be searching. <laughs> I remember that my mom used to keep cartons of biscuits just in case bad day came and we didn't have money. That no one would go without celebrating biscuits. That's why birthdays are important. If you tell me your birthday, I forget because I know it's important. I don't forget birthdays. You see, I forget too, but not easy. What am I just trying to say to you? I want to speak to you because it looks like the preaching of the word is meeting something missing. And if I keep developing you on this word matter without addressing these fundamentals, it will affect the precarious judgments of your life. So, for example, you will end up choosing a wrong man because he's slightly better than your father. That you will marry anybody so far, it doesn't look like that. Usually, you end up marrying that person. So that was after your daddy come. That's what it is. Because history likes to repeat itself without aid or support. Without touching it, history wants to repeat itself. I promise you. So what am I trying to draw out in this first phase of this discussion? Is to make you touch base with your past. Ask yourself real questions. Some of us have been grown to like what we see in the mirror. You need to get to that point. Are you listening to what I'm yes, saying? Yes, sir. You need to have that conversation with yourself. Maybe you were bullied in school. Some of you, you are just toxic. The way you think is, oh, 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 guy, oh, oh, guy, thinking. You just don't think normal. And you think you are special. You are thinking abnormal. 
And there's a way you can self-deceive yourself and convince yourself it is your special treat. I don't mind you being special, but be normal first. Do you understand what I mean? Be normal. Yes, be normal. Hallelujah. God. I said hallelujah. God. There is a therapeutic help of the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Which is what I'm talking about tonight. It says, come. You have been carrying this body for so long. Come. 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 Don't carry it alone. Come. But if you are not real about it, I'm not carrying anybody in there. There's something on my back. I don't have any issue in my past. You will be deceiving yourself. Father is so tall. Talk to yourself the truth. Is that the correct translation? Father is so tall. Talk the truth to yourself, have you? Whatever. But I hope you are getting what I'm saying. Yes, sir. You need to touch base with it. Otherwise, you will malfunction. You will malfunction. You malfunction. It's not to do. It's not here. But I promise you, if you don't address these issues, you will malfunction. So you don't know where you inherited anger. So you need to redefine, and that's what Christ does for us. Christ helps us, slaps us out of our okay, especially with the word of God. So I said, okay, this is right, this is right, this is right. You understand? The word of God starts to reorientate you. Okay, stop this. Don't, you know, this thing you are taking too far. You can be seated and be deceiving yourself that every other person is wrong and bad except you. Do you know that kind of self-delusion? That every other person is the bad person. You, you are the perfect person. That's why your social skills is affecting you. When you get into a social space, you know that you can't hold it down. You can't. And then you wonder that we've prayed. Why is it not happening? That's why I'm not, if you notice now, I'm not, I'm not, um, how do I say this? I'm not um, bypassing the importance of our spirituality. That's true. But I'm saying, address your story. Let me tell you one of the things I think can help you, which will lead me to the second part of, you know, the five-star personality thing I said, the eight-star personality, is write your thoughts down. Write it down. So, for example, you know I was not in your history, but as I'm talking, some things are connected. As I'm talking, you are, some things are smacking a chord. As I'm talking, you are just, you know, some of us, we never had the chance of having a mother around us or a father. That father used to bring me past. When you see a child, a woman or a man, who is supposed to be normal, normal and there's a touch, he lacks the firmness of decision making. A father's touch is missing. He might know that he doesn't have a father. I'm telling you. So that's why God redirects you. In Psalm 27 verse 10, he says, when your father and mother forsake you, so father and mother can forsake you, he said, then I will take you up. Yes, sir. God is interested. Psalm 27 verse 10. This thing is fine. I mean, look at it. Psalm 27 verse 10. Would you bring it up? Let's just look at it. You know, is that when your father? So God doesn't want you to stay fatherless. I don't know. Are you guys feeling what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Uh, when my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord, they did not die, you. They did not die. But God wants you to have the experience of fatherhood. Look at another scripture. Look at the one verse 36. Look 1 36 37. Luke 1 36 37. I hope I'm correct. Bura, hurry up now. Okay, will I say, you don't have it. I thought you were faster than this. Now. What happened? Okay, look, chapter 1, verse. Ah, check. Excuse me. Um, check. Um, look at look for it there. You really take it to uh, no, look for 17. 17. I don't know. 17. 17, 16, or 17. Where it says that they turn the hearts of the father. Aha, this is it. Aha, aha. 17, sorry. Look at it. And he shall go before him. But I mean, talking about what uh, the, the servant was going to do. This was uh, our senior. 
and shall go before him in the spirit and the power of Elias to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children. I want you to see that the heart of many fathers is against their child. There is a spiritual destiny duty that fathers should talk to their children. Look, I'm telling you, this thing about fathers then divorce because it is an attempt to lose fathers. And what fatherhood is missing? And fatherhood is not even just because you have a daddy. Fatherhood is because there's a duty that the heart of the father is torn away from the children. It's a spiritual conversation. That's what this one existed for. In the spirit of power of Elias, to turn what? Fathers to children. Their own children, no. I thought it was normal. No. Satan has been up on again. Knowing that he has lost a generation, he's coming for their children. And then he says, and they disobedient to the wisdom of the just. There's such a thing called the wisdom of the just. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's a just, there's a wisdom that as a just person, there's a wisdom you should walk in. Trust me, sir. Are you listening? Yes, yes sir. sir. What the wisdom of the just is that nothing in your past that was negative should be left negative. Mm -hmm. The foundation be destroyed. Not unrighteous. Righteous. Now I think go that's the job. You all meant on that. For you think I'm just trying to push a point. I'm not trying to push a point in. I'm showing what the God showed me. Yes, sir. Yes. No righteous. There's something wrong. Why? Foundation don't work. Don't tell me what I know, sir. Don't tell me what I know. So you need to have those conversations. You grow up, marry like that, and say everybody's a beast. Men has come. Ah, it's not your fault. You're only a product of. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. So tonight, one of the assignments I want to give everybody here is go home and search the areas of your life that need to be addressed. You know what I said? Yes, sir. Don't leave it unaddressed. Don't leave it unattended to. Don't. Go home and write it down. And what you're going to do, are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes, sir. As many as the things that the Lord will show to you, you are going to stand up and address it and correct that history. Yes, sir. And the next meeting on Saturday, I will pray attention to this, you will notice a superlative change in your life. Amen. Some of us were not victims of these things. It's true. We pray for those that are victims of it. First ones have a very special challenge. They are the experiment of the family. They are the experiment of the family. The father is not sure of how to father anybody. The mother is not sure of how to mother anybody. So she just does what she knows how to do. Second bonds are the trouble of most families. <laughs> Last bonds are just the challenge. Challenge. They they have a sense of entitlement. Thank God, you know I don't know your bond, so is that I'm not attacking you. I'm I'm speaking by the spirit of God. Amen. You, you guys get what I'm saying here? Last bones believe that everybody owes them. <laughs> One of the things my brothers did to me early was to clear my doubts as a last boy of mine. They cleared my doubts. <laughs> Watch me. When, when you thought you had support, you clear your doubts. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. I hope this is blessing someone to yes, I want you to take it serious. Go back home. Right. So, for example, if people had abused you that you are, your head is certain type, 
write it. It's only that has the book. I don't need to see it. Because that abuse is still working against you. If it is still working against you. If you've dealt with it, I promise you there's no problem. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah? But I'm only trying to help us be deliberate to deal with history issues. Paradventure, it is relevant. It might not always be relevant. Somebody can listen to this and say, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. I'm not arguing with you. I'm not here to argue with you. Those that it matters to know what I'm saying. Yes, sir. Because not everybody is the same. Some of us, our parents, are, they are herbalists in suits. <laughs> Before you laugh, almost every home has its own shrine. Before you laugh, you don't know there's something there you don't have. That's how I thought that we don't have anything. I, we, oh God, one day they call me that. I say, hey, this thing entered this family too. <laughs> Stay there. Stay there. I remember my dad telling me when he said I should come, that they should make him the honorary MP or something, something. He had to tell me, Alex, it's not fetish. It's traditional. He explained to me. He said, remember I told you I wanted to become, they wanted to make me chief one time. That one is fetish. But this one, is not, you have to explain to you. Do you understand? Because now I won't come. <laughs> Nico. <laughs> if only you know. But I, I don't know that my family also had something. What is I saying? I said to add yoga. Yes. You might not know it. Thank God because it's generation. But the people helping you service that all time, they know themselves. <laughs> I promise you. I promise you. This is not because, thankfully, if I was a, a, a pastor that is not exposed now, you say maybe I, I'm just fetish in my head. Oh, well, it looked me well now. You know, say I, I'm in touch with life. Yes, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not talking out of a victimized experience. I'm talking contemporary realities. And I'm simply saying, start with dealing with it. Some of us, it's a trend in your family you need to deal with. Late marriage. I told of that lady now that she went to meet a pastor. Say, pray for me. That just you guys here. Okay, so maybe you know I've been preaching in different places now. Sorry. This lady came to meet Pastor. Say, Pastor, pray for me. The pastor said, No, now that one. He was the, the man was a guest minister. So after service, she came to me and said, Please sir, pray for me. So the, the guest minister now told the pastor that no, 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 no. It's not a prayer issue. That is not a prayer issue. That is some of it. The girl said, Ah, sir, please pray for me. Say, ah, no. He said, What? You know. She now said, sir, anytime anybody finishes in, uh, as a graduate in my family, after a few days or weeks or something, somebody must go for it. The man was like, no, 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 it's all right. It was just a mistake. Do you know, I stand here to tell you, two weeks exactly, he goes past Call the man. That lady that said you should pray for her, you did not pray. Mm -hmm. Eh? The father just died. Mm -hmm. And she says, on the neck. Mm -hmm. I don't want to tell you. It was just by mistake. Sit down there. I told you, Satan has a chair. Yes, Once he starts, it doesn't stop until you yes, stop. Sir, yes, sir. Once he starts, it doesn't stop until you stop him. It was another very funny story. A lady, a guy came to a pastor. I said, you know, the devil doesn't want you to believe that he exists. If you can come, the devil doesn't want you to believe the devil exists. Yeah. 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 Brother came to the pastor. He said, sir, pray for me. He said, what happened? He said, I have a demon. Ah, you don't have any demon. He said, sir, I have a demon. You guys said, no, 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 you don't have anything. You know what the brother did to convince the pastor. Please come in, come in, come in. Don't go. Let's do it. You know? You know the sister did? I mean, the brother I used to say. Tell the pastor like this. Say, sir, I'm holding you. Can you say I'm not holding you? <laughs> the pastor said, no, you are holding me now. You are holding me by the hand. He said, that's how I can tell you that I have a demon. <laughs> that as real as I'm holding you, that nobody can convince you I'm not holding you. He said, that's how I can What am I trying to say, sir? I'm simply trying to say, don't give the devil any peace. Yes, and that includes not by cutting what he's doing. You know, some people, I used to joke it because it's true. Some people, the glass cover wants to fall and break. Instead of them rush, reaching to pick it up, they cover their ears. <laughs> Do you think that by covering your ears, the glass will not break? 
if you are covering your ears from the consequence of your negligence, mm. nothing that the consequences is not happening. Mm. Glass wants to scatter, you cover your ears. <laughs> By covering your ears, you have not changed the situation. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Yeah. Please sit down, gentlemen. So that's number one part of that whole discussion. That's right. Which leads me to the second part of what I want to talk about. And I, that's why I said I, I don't want to make this teaching too serious here. So that hope is blessing. Yes, yes sir. sir. The second part of it is that you need to make up your mind that you will not be a mediocre. You see, that's what that scripture was saying. That the dead don't even know anything is going on. Look. In this life, you are responsible for the quality of your outcomes. Not just your outcomes, but the quality of your outcomes. I see this church grow very large. Amen. But one of the things I take responsibility for from now is to ensure that there are healthy people in the house. If people that others come to meet are unhealthy, who reproduce a large and healthy system. I want you to be healthy. So of us, you must remember that you are not perfect. And we received you here not because you are perfect. Some of you know that you are violent. If I used to tell yourself that, ah, you know, you tell yourself that kind of attitude and, and, and those things are not things you should stay in a community with and think you are safe. We are not safe around you. So if we don't address it, we are using Jesus to cover it. The day we will not be able to cover it, it will be stressful. Are you getting what I'm trying to say here? Yeah? And some of us, it's not only physical violence, it's even emotional violence. Some of us are hostile. You are not tolerant of other people. And I, I say it again, when you are not living like a Christian, you are a, you are a very dangerous person. Because we will think you are a Christian, but you are not. See, one of the things that you must take as a Christian is your duty to walk in love. What did I say? It's a duty you owe. Look at it, Romans chapter 13 verse 8. He says, oh no man anything except love. So of us, to even stay and be among people and love people generally is hard. You were never loved. And these things influence how we even choose spouses. The kind of rationale you put into the decision making process. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yes, sir. You know when you don't have money, some ideas are shut down. You know how money can kill some ideas. You even talk about pizza when you don't have money. Do you, do you know what I'm talking about? You even have money, I don't know say pizza. Let it know when you don't have money. I say, what do you want to eat? Of all things, pizza. Pizza now. Now, is this pizza? Pizza is what's doing you now. With the new national term, they've changed. <laughs> pizza. Is that what's doing you now? Pizza. <laughs> oh, no, man. Anything. But what? Love love another. Another. For he that loveth another, another. Is no story. Love. Look, if we're going to stand out as a great church, we must be lovers. Yes, sir. Did you hear what I just said? Yes, sir. We must be lovers. A Mekong Uluri lover. See, you must be very committed to loving. So, but your self esteem still gives way sometimes. That's why it talks to you, you are hostile. Or you are not talking, but you are thinking it the wrong way. Those things don't help a community of saints. It does not help us. So we are talking tonight about becoming that A-class personality. And that A-class personality is what I call a living lion. A living lion. Be a living lion. You are a lion, then be alive. Just alive. Don't be dead. Don't be dead. Don't kill yourself as a norm. No. Take it to yourself and look by every chance. All that God has put in you will manifest. Amen. Say good amen. Amen. Say better amen. Amen.
You know that this word of God I'm preaching to you is changing you. Yes, yes. How many of us are like, we are, we are changing you? Yes. Yes. The way you see people, see, when you see, when you see someone, when you see someone, how do you see the person? Do you see the person that is like, not Christian? So it's Christian. Or how do you see? When you look at people, what do you see? Do you, do you see God in them? Mm. Do you see the possibility of creation in them? Do you see the wonders of God in them? When you look upon people, what do you see? Whatever you see is who you are. For we do not see people the way they are, we see people the way we are. If you can see good in others, it's because there is good. Yes, sir. The amount of good you see in others is the amount of good in you. Don't forget, just I said it. You say measure you want to make out, you want to be measured back. Mm -hmm. Are we making some sense? This yes, yes sir. sir. So I want us to now use this to define our new standards in our church. How do you do? Do you mean what you are saying? Do you say what you mean? We are just saying because the eight can't say. No, I want to teach you. That's not how I live my life. I don't see what I don't see. Yes, if I must be hard on you, I will find out the English available in my dictionary to communicate. Yes. If you think you are crazy, I will show you crazy. <laughs> 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 you know, I'm saying that because, ladies and gentlemen, I want us to have a church, and it's my duty as the father of this house. To lay that foundation yes, sir, sir. of what I consider to be authentic Christianity. Mm -hmm. Authentic. That touches bone. That you are honest from inside out. Yes. Can I hear an amen? Yeah. You know, I was going to preach one day. I carried my former music prayer with another. One guy drove rubbish on my car. I was going to preach the bad dog. I pulled over the guy. Carried a stick. Started chasing the guy. <laughs> <laughs> My music is saying, Pastor, sir, Pastor, sir. <laughs> I want to show this guy what it means to have. So I'm not talking about what mele mele okay? You think you are crazy? I will show you crazy. And I will show you crazy in love. <laughs> Why am I saying so? Because there's a tendency to say, when we just say love, we just say, be like a do. No. When you do nonsense, I will come for Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will hunt you. And I will show you the haunting skills of the life. I will, I will deal with you radically. I will that love to you to see what I can do with your life. Yes, sir. Yes. Like I was saying to my leaders today, as we are growing like this, it's my job to regulate the temperature of everybody. Yes, sir. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Don't think that is just looking. If I have not spoken to you, it's not yet your time. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. If I've not called you, you are not yet. I promise when it is time, you will hear from me. Praise for impact. The reason I'm saying so is because I want us to have a church that is healthy. Yes, sir. There are people that are going to still come to this ministry. Let them meet a healthy community. Yes, sir. Can I hear your amen? Amen. Some of us need to start to step into the roles of leadership. Roles of leadership. You have them. I keep saying it. If you've been here for a while, you should have somebody you're mentoring. Yes, sir. You should. You should. I told you, you just don't see yourself lead. You will lead. Yeah. <laughs> and you know the thing I'm trying to do to us? Is that I don't want you to come and live like a boy boy. Mm -hmm. Not like my boy boy. If you're a boy boy dear, where you are working, and we make you a leader here, we're going to have a boy boy leader. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yes, sir. If you're a manager there, and we make you a leader, you're going to be a leader manager or manager leader, whatever one you put in front. So the quality of your private life is what will impact on the public space here. Be that person in that organization who chooses to be different. Again, I'll say to you, write down your thoughts. 
Some of you should write down the kind of clothes you want to be wearing. An A-class personality like you should choose what kind of perfume you want to wear. An A-class person says, is it my type they give such things? Don't ever say so here. If I hear you, I will fight you. Is it my type? Then we don't need you around us, at least for now. <laughs> An A-class personality knows what he is deserving of. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The other day, I bought ice cream. You know, you know I like ice cream. Shame, you know? Yes, sir. Some of you used to give me some strange things. I will take it to but nothing does a chick like a good bowl of ice cream. Hey, are you aware? I sat down alone and finished my ice cream. You know what I realized? Some of you have never paid attention to yourself. Never. You are so selfless, you don't even remember you exist. And so you'll be fatigued. You'll not be wondering why are they using you. You are using, they've been using you. We'll be using you because you are useful. Yes, sir. And if you cannot be useful to yourself, it's not our fault. Hey. Take yourself out. Yes, sir. Don't take permission. Yes, and appreciate who you are as a human life. Are you hearing what I'm trying to say? Yes, sir. You like something in a show class? One of my favorite things when I want to is that I like to undress my kids. Mm. <laughs> and because mannequin usually carries the best of his story. Yes, yes. Undress this mannequin, put it in my crown. <laughs> <laughs> Male or female? That's how I think. I love to undress my kids. Because it's usually the best style that people come and remove it. This one gets to size. You can't remove it. It's a, you can't get to size. It's inside there. Yeah. What am I saying? Those are signs that you are to pay attention to the worth of who you are. It doesn't automatically, you can do that and become materialistic. I'm not talking about becoming materialistic. I'm not talking about forgetting the kingdom. Because one was too old that I never give to the kingdom. What is the last button? You see, you need to decide whether you want to be a five star personality. You know, hotels have grades. Yes, sir. Yes. Banks have grades. Yes, sir. Even church has grades. Mm -hmm. Individuals do have grades. Yes, sir. There are people that make hair. Their grade is five star. Okay. There's someone that makes clothes. But that lady, what's that lady popular in now? She's straight. I heard she will not make any clothes more than less than one million. I think. Yeah. Whereas that's a clothes, somebody in this room might make it for 260. <laughs> That 60 is very strategic. So, do you guys get what I'm trying to say? Yes, sir. The cycle of grades you want to be. I don't have apologies for being a good person. Let some things be no longer with you. Yes, sir. Before now, there was one guy I used to buy things from on the road. Many days ago, the guy has been asking me, Sire, he doesn't see me again. I said, Do I need to tell you I've changed? Let's not to me. He said, He put all his gadgets, all these guys at Allen, he put all his gadgets on the car, stand the same person, just was the only one. I've left that level. I can order now. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yes, again, I couldn't order. I was just like, <laughs> yeah, even if I from him, I was buying the best he could afford. You guys can see. Yes, yes, Some of us, your taste shows that we can't put you to it. You will spoil every other person's taste. Yes. I will know your taste. The channels you listen to, the radio stations you listen to, the kind of phone you use, or a start to use. Because we're not using the phone you want. I'm simply saying. If you get to a certain level, as a Christian, <laughs> 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 yes, you put that some places, they should not touch you making your head at a certain level. 
<laughs> if you are not at that level, see, what I'm trying to say to you is there's a way you still carry us. You know that there was a thing I used to buy token ball, well, <laughs> at Yarapaya Bridge. I go there in the evening. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I was I, I was very intentional. The guy just come, I'll go, you don't come. I said, yes, I don't come. <laughs> so I told him, I said, be your best. <clears throat> that was that time. Give me your best. That was what I crafted. So I'm not trying to say you don't break uh, uh, one shop that I so even as I can, as I thought, there was a day a pastor friend of mine who met in Kota Kota, I was going to preach together. Some of us may know him. He said to me, man of God, do you know how much this shirt is? I said, how much? What? He said, this shirt is 250,000 naira. So yeah, there's a way you can react. You can say, why are you telling me? You know that's an option. Yeah. You can say, why are you wasting money? <laughs> or you can say, oh yeah, that's okay. I did. For every response you give, there's a better version. Yes. So I said, wow, fantastic. That means we're not a very good friend. You need to be buying two, two of these shirts. Do you understand? Because if our friendship is tight enough, you get a quick copy from me also. You know what Peter told me? He said he uses that to check my reaction. Whether poverty is still living in me. He said it, I said, What? You don't know who you talk to. He said, Come on, Machala. The response in you speaks to the state of your understanding. I just said, I'm sorry, our friendship is not inside, so we should get into parts of this place. Wow, he said, man, that sounded like someone whose mind is elevated. Yes. Do you guys know this? Yes, sir. So I'm not talking about going to a big bank and kill somebody and buy something. No, that's what I'm saying. Man. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm simply saying it will show when your Christian life starts to mirror you. Look, I, Bishop Adipo was saying something recently. He said that at a stage in his Christian work, he asked himself, can a king wear this kind of prince? I don't know if you've seen that. Can a king dress like this? Can a queen dress like this? If it's not befitting for a queen, it's not befitting for me. Yes. And I agree with him. And like I said, at your level. At your level. At your level. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. So on that note, I'm trying to draw our attention into something I think may be useful. Ah, Jesus. So, so are we together? Yes, sir. So, there is this portion of this discussion that I want to talk about. To really know who you are, you need to be spiritual. Because you are a spirit. Yes, sir. Don't use the mirror to judge who you are. Now, listen. The mirror tells us who we are physically mm-hmm. and outwardly. Our friends tell us who we are socially. But the scriptures tells us who we are spiritually. Did you know that? Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes, sir. So you can have a friend. You know, Pastor, that as water answers with it, so does a man's friend speak to him who he really is. Your quality of friendship tells you who you are in terms of your social space, your social development. Then your study of God's word tells you who you are spiritual. That is the true identity. You can be well dressed as spiritually as it. Mm-hmm. That's bad. Mm-hmm. That's, that's what I'm preaching. So, some people attend to their spirituality. Kasha, peace, Allah, They are social hands. Mm-hmm. You got a mercy. Yes, now, some people don't like that, so they want to be socially relevant with their spirituality. You can't forsake one for the other. You need to be solid. That's a, Solid. Brothers, listen to me. Every woman you see here or that you will ever see has a witch and a queen in them. You must be solid to handle a woman. 
Oh, Jesus, I wish I could say this to the world. Don't ever underestimate any woman. No. One of them even bothered to release them. <laughs> you might think I'm joking. God doesn't judge women the way he judges man. You might say, uh, but still, I'm not looking at God and saying I did not laugh. God said, You laugh. God said, You laugh. She said, I did not laugh. You laugh. She said, I did not laugh. You laugh. She said, I did not laugh. You are worse. Okay, I give up. You do not laugh. Deal with that. Say, you are the same thing. You try telling God, I did not laugh. You see how they call your name in the game. Yeah, you guys know what I'm saying. Yes, sir. Brothers, listen to me. You need some development. Yes, sir. To be an effective man. Trust me. Trust me. I'm not pretending to you. If I was hiding something, you should have known by right now. Yes, sir. Are you listening? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To deal with life, you need to be on top of it. The way life will attack you, it's not going to be giving you sessional balls. Take this one first. No. It's brah, 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 brah. And if you can't cope, you will go on that. You will go on that. Go and check what band A is playing now in light. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want to live at band Z. That's what you want for your life. You know, as life is going, some people back on again. Mm. So when I'm moving, they will just move further to Meron. Soon, Ilaro is a I know my brother who moved to Abel Kuta. I was convincing me that uh, before he gets to that, he has what he Million before, but life has changed now. That same 2.5 is asking for 4 million. Are you on top of your game? See, so this reward is very useless. Or, oh, guy, you are not prepared. That's the language of a man that is not prepared. I know that this life does not have time to. We are all learning. Am I making some sense? Yes, sir. So, what I've shared with you is that number one, if you have weights in your past, don't leave them unattended. Yes. Number two, I said articulate your realities and decide by training. And I'll close with that. What makes you different from your past is your training. Mm. Yes. What makes you prepared for your future is your training. Mm. I'm telling you. And every day is an opportunity to be trained. There to see. If you are someone who is giving to turn like a hinge of a door, comfort and comfort, comfort and comfortress, anything tough you don't like, any correction is hostile. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Until. Do you understand? Yes, sir. I'm not ready. You cannot be complaining about life's opportunity to see you improve and be saying that you are hostile to you or hostile at you. Please, do you guys get what I'm trying to yes, say? Sir. So, on the strength of this, I want to, you know, drop this thought here that you need to embrace training. Now, let me just give you four areas of training. Five, five areas. Number one, train your mind. Train your mind. Number two, train your spirit. Mm. Number two, train your what? Spirit. 
how do you train your mind? By books, information. Psalm 19, verse, uh, Proverbs 19, verse 2. It says, it is not good for a soul to be without knowledge. When you don't read, your mind is like muscles that are relaxed. Reading chuckles your mind. Some of us, you see why somebody like says something to you. He's taking time for you to understand. So I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. You always see someone's clear that destiny. You know, I don't understand. Ah, oh! You don't to pray. See, you need to be sharp. By the conversation, listen. Are you? I hope you are not angry. Oh. Yes, sir. Don't be angry. Oh. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Praise God. You need to be acute when information is coming to you. The person talking to you is hoping you can handle it. Don't disappoint me. You are not red. So what does subservience mean? Subservience. <laughs> And you think it's a testimony that you don't know. I'm a big grandma. You don't know. You are showing your ignorance. I don't know if you get what I'm saying here. You'll be laughing at the person I said, use the English. Instead of you to be challenged to say, I can step up my English. You are saying, must you use that English? You see, you see how you are creating mediocrity around you. People want to advance to the next level of learning. You are saying, what's that big English for? Instead of you to be inspired, you are irritated. That is mediocrity. Somebody does something, puts an extra into an ordinary thing to make it extraordinary. You are angry. Say, so who sent you to put that one? That is what extraordinary people do. They put extra on ordinary. Yeah. I sent by a picture. I don't know if I saw that picture. He has not used it. He did ice cream for me. I was eating at there. He now put green leaf. I said, please. What is this leaf green inside? This vanilla ice cream. And they said, it's the, it's the coloring, the green. I said, I. But I took the learning. Somebody wanted the extra. Are you listening? Yes, sir. Don't bar ordinary hair. Bar extraordinary. If you are the one making the hair, put extra to it. Yes, that is how excellent people respond to life. They pay attention to details. So they said, do 50 sit-ups. I've done 50 sit-ups. Put one more. Make it 51. Mm. We are closing by 5. Close by 5.10. Yeah. After <laughs> prayers, don't be first long out. Stay extra. Look, I'm telling you guys, you guys just, you just think that maybe this, I'm not just teaching you ordinary, is that I can't be pissing everything with one more scripture each. But trust what I'm telling you is the truth. Have an extra. See, the thing that makes for excellent people is their sense of value for details. Mm. You want to serve a man, your husband, put an extra subject. Put spoon, knife, and fork. Get an extra effort. Don't use the same cup like every point. How hard is that, madam? Madam superstitious. <laughs> and you don't like the traditional man. Put an extra. Brother, you are going home. Buy an extra something. Are you listening? Yes, sir. An extra. See, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This is the mediocrity that you've been trying to escape but you are not ready to escape. I'm training you now. I hope you are receiving it. Yes, sir. If you are reacting against this message in a very wrong way, there's a demon working on you. Hi. Let me just tell you, there's a demon fighting you tonight. You know that tonight I'm not preaching big, big revelation. Yes, sir. I'm talking very simple things. He said, my husband doesn't like me. Treat him right and see. Demons can go with kindness. Mm -hmm. Hi. Just treat him right. Say, no, he's a very stubborn. I know that's how he is. I know some people are fools. I agree. I have not used this to absorb any foolish behavior. But I'm simply saying to you, you do what you can. And I'm speaking in the authority of the most High God. You hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. These are simple things. You, you say read Psalm 122. You've read Psalm 122. Read Psalm 123. Mm. 
add extra. They say we should only want 22. I've done that's what a mediocre does. That's what a mediocre does. Answer this question. Answer a question with examples. You get extra marks. I don't know if you get what I just said. Yes, sir. Say it's over two years, but we ask you to play example. You put it here, it's time for you. You got a right thing. There's nothing wrong with that. I've used rule on I don't need perfume. You need it. Go and buy perfume. Go and buy it. You hear what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. The rule on is spread it. Spread like perfume. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys going to say here? Yeah? Yes, you bought card. You say what you brought in the card is enough. Write something extra. Yes, you say the card, what they say? To be less family. Very ambiguous. <laughs> Write something specific. Compliments are not useful until they are specific. Mm. I just like it. For what? For this, this, he will appreciate it better. Hello! Hi, yes! You want to choose frames, you just choose ordinary frames. Choose something with an extra detail. I hope you are getting this. Yes, Make a dress. Buy an extra button time. You see that is 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 you clean table. You did not check if it is well done. Be an extra person. Be an extra person. A thought is coming to you to send pastor a greeting. Send it. Yes, sir. I don't like to stop my pastor. That's how your destiny is. To yes, what I'm trying to do as we close this month is I want to challenge you. You need to be better. Yes, sir. And that duty is on you. Yes, sir. You are seeing people speak well on television. You are not inspired. You have to try to speak well now. Yes, now. The church, the church of God, does not matter. <laughs> Try to please church, church. <laughs> oh, I was so excited when I got to the UK. I got in there that day, the first service, I was late. The lady that was waiting there, as I came in, she said, oh, are you for virtues? Hey, my head melted. Hey! hey! I said, yes. <laughs> I, the name alone just made me I'm telling you good pronunciation used to sound like music you don't mind if you teach you at home you don't want to teach yourself at virtues the god of virtues hallelujah I hope you are blessed. Yes, sir. What extra would you put to your life? What training would you submit yourself to? Reading the word of God. It's a good training. Do you know I, I literally, literally, I literally have caught myself now. I malfunction when I'm not heard. I don't know if you know what I mean. How can you easy? Something is missing. It's like when you say a robot has no battery. I'm malfunctioning. To not hear a word, you want to kill me. It's not possible. How much time do you pay? Or do you just mix Rema plus Casey and Ashake? And you go there and say, The Lord will be with me. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not going to bother them anymore. I think it's about saying, Yes, sir. There you see, what you pay attention to, what you pay attention to. Yes, sir. That's the truth. Thomas, we are so light headed, we don't have any cloud of destiny. Everything goes. Everything can all be Everything can all go. Abima? Yes, you can say everything go, everything go. No, 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 no. Not everything can go. <laughs> Not everything can go. There should be some no. There should be some yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Why would you sleep every night without a new scripture in your spirit? Every night. Three, and you are sleeping. No new scripture. None. None. You say, I'm not going to be a pastor. It's not for pastors, they wrote Bible. Abisa. No new scripture. No new message. No new wisdom. 
No new book. No new friend. No new gifts. No new sacrifice. No new learning. A class personalities don't sleep without a new learning. And you must not watch film with me. If you watch film with me, you'll be angry. <laughs> Ash, did you see that one? What is it again inside this film? Even the writer of the script did not see what I'm saying. <laughs> I want to challenge you. Don't live an ordinary life. Say no more ordinary life. No more ordinary life. There's a designer. No more ordinary things. That's what they call themselves. No more ordinary things. Everything extraordinary. Yeah, I'm talking about Ted Baker, one of my favorite designers. Do you know Ted Baker? Very nice designer. Very cool. You will see Ted Baker shirts. You think that's all. They will put something somewhere. They'll be like, ah! Sunday. This one today, yeah. Inside your chest, we promise you back. You know what they are looking for. One day I was, I was coming from Aberdeen. The lady in front of me, I just looked at her shoes. And I said, this shoe looks different from a normal white canvas. It was a white canvas. I looked at her, ah, I said, it's the vicar. As she moved like this, I saw, ah, it's the vicar. It's the vicar. So you. You are looking at you. I think you are calling a prophet's name. Hallelujah. So, you know, my intention today, I'm sure you've seen I've achieved it. Yes, sir. Is to speak to us that don't leave your past as if it doesn't matter. It might be affecting you now. Are you hearing? Yes, sir. Pay attention to it. Then secondly, I said, scale up to becoming a conscious person, an A-class personality, a five-star personality. Be that person. Why, why? Do you know that not every kind of business can go to Dubai? If your business, do you know that, the, that I was just reading yesterday, that Burj Khalif, as they call it, the tallest building in Dubai, is actually an express road going to the sky. It's similar to those I wanted to build the Tower of Babel. Do you know that the lifts are like express roads? Yes, sir. That's how they designed it. No, there must be an explanation. Look at that um, Gujarat, the other one, um, that is like this, this design of a sail, a sail, you know? No ordinary thing in Dubai. Eh? I'm only saying that even people who we claim are unbelievers are living dogs better than we that are dead lions. <laughs> Oh yes, that's what I'm trying to say. Say it, sir. That's what I'm trying to say. Hey, sorry. That's what I'm trying to say. Huh? Some barbing saloons should no longer see you there. Mm. Not because I'm saying you should go to the most expensive, but you've outgrown that one you have been using. Switch. You see, as you grow in life, you must know when some things are no longer befitting for yourself. You were earning 30,000, you were going under the bridge. You are earning 50,000, you are still going under the bridge. You are earning 80,000, you are still going under the bridge. You are one, one, two, that means one the bridge, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> but if you bridge, yeah? You have decided you will not leave. <laughs> ah, you won't have the bridge, yeah? Me. But you know that what I just said now is also true concerning. But wait, but you know that what I just said now is also true concerning offerings. When you were earning 30,000, you were giving 200. When you were earning 50,000, you were giving 200. When you were giving 7,000, you were giving 200. What if 200 she lies for you? What I'm simply saying is know your worth. As you grow, become better. Yes, sir. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yes, yes. Know your worth. As you grow, become better. I'm not saying you should overdo. This is where the wisdom of the just plays. Mm -hmm. Because some people now they just say, we should say we should go for all out. Now I can buy a show. But you know, did you see that? Did you see that funny story? I don't think it's a skit, I think it's even true. That girl that asked for Aza, Azu, Aza, or the Azu, Azu, Aza, a drink. Why should they drink with that expensive? I'm amazed. I'm amazed. I was in Dubai when, I mean, I said Dubai, um, Canada, when a friend of mine suggested to me, see that drink, we're waiting for a cocktail. And as a man of God, I don't take alcohol. So he said, I said, look at that drink. That, that drink, that's why they put it far away. I said, why? 
So they call it Azu, or something like that. And it sounds like Azu, you know? Yes. <laughs> he now told me the amount. I said, for what? For alcohol. That the doctor would ask me, do you drink alcohol? <laughs> So all of that is just to say that even unbelievers know how to prep themselves. Yeah. Are you getting what I'm saying? They, want yes, to call, they know how to grade themselves. Some of us know what I'm talking about. Do, do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, yes sir. sir. People that you call unbelievers, some of them, when they are buying Bible, they don't buy ordinary Bible. Mm -hmm. Yes, you just don't buy ordinary Bible. Buy a Bible that has margin, that has reference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> some of them know. I know one now as I'm talking, I'm seeing his head. He bought a Bible. Did you see his Bible? Oh my God. Someone that buy Bible, like 12,000 Naira Bible, 35,000 Naira Bible. He's not a believer. Do you know what I'm saying? He just does not just go for ordinary things. I'm not asking you to go and kill yourself. I repeat. I'm just saying, have a way of putting premium on yourself. As you grow, grow upward. Second, I'm saying, have a value. The kind of value you take in a man. It's usually because of how you see yourself. Most ladies are ready to take rubbish. Because most guys are not available like that. So, when they say they, when the desirable is not available, the available becomes desirable. Do you know what I'm talking about? Okay, so if you even, you're not sure, you like him small, you don't like him small, bring him, let's meet him. Jack up, look, look, come up, we're out, let's meet him. Good. Hallelujah. Yes, you know, this is a family meeting here. Yes, I hope you're encouraged. Yes, now, let me ask you if I say you should pray now, what would be your prayer point? Let's close here. What would be your prayer point? What would you pray about? I want, from everything I've said, create a prayer point. A prayer point. Create a prayer point. Mm -hmm. From everything we said, Yes, please go ahead. Please. I'll pray that the diligence to to submit myself to training every day, not the the diligence to stay trained, and also to give myself a transformation. I also pray that God should walk on my mind, that my mind agrees with the spirit of God. Hallelujah. The the good destiny asks for me. The people that I need to meet, Correct. the right places I need to work Correct. in, the right environment, the right friends that should come, Good. I'll, I'll draw them. That's from what them. I want to be here. You, you, see what, you see what is prayer? That's the prayer. There's a prayer that I, I prayed till you became my subconscious sleeps. Lord, I receive wisdom. Lord, I receive. I, even till now, tonight, as I was coming, I receive wisdom. I keep seeing it every day. I, I'm sure there's no day that goes that I don't pray that prayer. I don't want to exaggerate. It can't be less than 50 times a day. For anything I'm doing, Lord, I receive wisdom. I receive wisdom. I, I'm conscious that wisdom should be available to me. Because sometimes one small mistake can cause problem. Hallelujah. Praise so, God. so you see the way he has it. Does anyone want to share his prayer points also with me? The second person. Did you mm. please come forward? Let's go. Yeah? Yeah, to come for it. Come for it, come for it. Very true. Affecting me 
by any, by any chance, by yes, chance. yes, yes, yes. I'm for um, God to open my eyes. Yes. Know what I need to do to this present position for a better Fantastic. Somebody needs to pray that God will repair the mistakes of the past. Yes. Mm-hmm. Whatever you made a mistake and it's affecting you, the Lord should help you repair it. I know you've never made a mistake. There's some of us have made mistakes before. Mm-hmm. But God should help us. Mm-hmm. Praise the Lord. Some of us need to pray that the Lord will change your outlook. You need to pray that the Lord should change the way you see yourself in the mirror. I don't know what you will pray, but tonight I want us to pray. Come rest on it. I'm going to let you pray your prayers, first of all, and I'm going to give you three minutes to do that. Lift up your voice and pray. <coughs> Three minutes is one eighty seconds. That's pretty well. Wherever the problem started, address it. You might not, this might not be the last place you pray that preach is one day. Some of them are not your fault, but you are guilty. Some of them are not your cause, you are not the one that caused it. It's affected. In Jesus' name we pray. All right, look at me. Three areas I want you to try to pay attention to. You know, I said you should grow mentally. That's your mind, your spirit, your body. All right? I want you to pray tonight that God will help your problem-solving skills. Do you hear what I said? Your And your decision-making skills. Those two things. You see, from now, you need to start to think in terms of consequences mm. and prospects. Some people don't are not living with the consciousness that every action has a consequence. So they are surprised or they feel maltreated when consequences shows up. So there's such a thing called problem-solving skills. There's a way the Spirit of God can take advantage of your problem-solving skills and make you make good decisions. Do you guys get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So you're going to pray three things in that. Number one, problem solving skills. Number two, decision making skills. Number three, speed of thoughts. Because sometimes you decided that it was late. Yes, yes, sir. Are you listening to what I'm praying? Yes, Turn it to a prayer. Let's pray. Yes, and the speed of thoughts. Of thoughts. <laughs> 
Jesus, so you know we've said some things tonight and i just want to close with this prayer point that is going forward you have an excellent spirit say after me say i'm of, I'm of an excellent spirit say i think excellent thoughts so i think the best of others that means there are some things that go on inside this church from now when you see them you say no no that's not what we do here amen no 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 that's not what our pastor taught us are you here i'm trying to say yes, hey look at me everybody shame i'm your pastor yes, sir. you know why i needed to say that because some of us need to know that although you may have my sons and all of that you must take directly from me my son in the lord might not be doing what i'm doing he too is growing are you listening yes, sir. don't think that eh, 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 so the person is not doing something so i no 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 look at me anybody you see that i put there i put him there to help me and he himself is also needing help is that okay yes, sir. where they fall short look at me and draw strength are you listening yes sir don't look at uh, uh sister romoke i say uh, sister romoke is not doing this church you don't like people look at me do i look like someone that does not care for you you even you know that this message is worthy of a larger audience yes, sir. i pray I that the light of god will shine upon your life Amen. i want us to pray that prayer and then we'll wrap it up I say, Lord, I'm of an excellent spirit. I think sound thoughts. I live a sound life. I have forgiveness in my heart. I live an excellent spirit. I make decisions that are sound. I pray in this evening. I live sound life. Sound. I judge correctly. I judge myself. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Finally, the last but not the least, you're going to pray and say, Lord, give to me an appetite for your word. There's such a thing called the appetite for God's word and spirit. That your delight will be in the law of the Lord. Are you listening to what I'm saying? That's what it means to be a real Christian. A lion indeed and not a dead to one. An appetite for the word of God. That the word of God will be a delicate delight to your spirit. That will be a pleasure. It's not be boring. It's not be overwhelming. Can you pray and pray and say, Lord, grant me appetite for the word. Grant me appetite for the word. Let your word be my delicate delight. Are you praying that prayer? Oh, shake rabba zote peke shose. Magra koto breke pere de bo shikiri bata. Shake breke di bro de bo shoso di bata. Say, I declare I am healthy. From the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. I am healthy spirit, soul, and body. I am healthy spirit, soul, and body. My thoughts are right. My thoughts are right. My words are fortress. My words are fortress. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare that from today. I declare that from today. My discipline level rates higher. My discipline level rates higher. I declare that from today. I declare that from today. In mind, I am disciplined in mind. In words, in words, and deeds. I am of a sound mind. I am of a sound mind. I have an excellent spirit. I have an excellent spirit. I take right decisions. I take right decisions. I speak right words. I speak right words. I do right things. I do right things with the right people. With the right people, and I get the right results. And I get the right results. I don't go low in life. I don't go low in life. I go high in life. I go high in life. Everything works together. Everything works together. I bless the 
blessed good. For a blessed good. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I rise above the elements of my power. I rise above the elements of my power. I receive grace in this service. I receive grace in this service. To rise as a living lion. To rise as a living lion. I'm not a dead door. I'm not a dead door. I'm not a dead lion. 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 I'm not a dead lion
challenge. Stop looking for the symptoms and for your healing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Look at Christian and say, I don't know what I'm still here. Stop that. That's how it works. But you take it and you know that there was a thing before. Give not the thing and rejoice and give God thanks. He was a song. Come and sing for us so that you don't. Know Larry, come and take this. Come and sing for us. So I don't sing for us and for my, my community. <laughs> I've not administered this in that. So let me administer it for the first. So I don't have to sing it for us and for community. I'll just sing Absolutely nothing without I will beat you. <laughs> 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 just you can Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So let's have fun tonight, okay? Yes, Give us a song. For you are the Lord. Hallelujah. Very good song. Hallelujah. And worthy to be praised. You are the Lord. and I'll pray over us. Father, we thank you for tonight. We receive of your grace tonight. We receive of your love. We receive of your mercy. Lord, I pray for anyone who has struggles with our foundation. Let them have an encounter tonight in Jesus' name. Anyone who is manifesting to a spell, whether spiritual spell or mundane spell, I pray that such spells are broken now in the name of Jesus every uncontrollable habit every uncontrollable tendency every repeated mistake that is finding its way again and again into the lives of anyone here either the mistake of a habit or some sort or a historical situation lord today i stand as your servant and i stretch my hands in the spirit and i declare that such history is corrected in the name of jesus i pray lord by the power of the blood of jesus christ that such powers that may be operational in anyone's life here. I do not know the details, Lord, but you are putting it in my spirit again. I arrest such powers now in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I speak the peace of God into that situation. Amen. I speak the correctional power of God into that foundation. Amen. I speak that all things are made bright and beautiful Amen. again. That the name of the Lord alone is glorified. Amen. That people begin to regain their self-dignity and self-worth. That wherever things were difficult before, Lord, you make it easier. Amen. Thank you for tonight's powerful experience. We promise to return all the glory to you, Lord, as a church. 
that we are upgrading ourselves to A class personalities. Amen. That even our church will become an A class ministry. Amen. That Lord, your work in our midst will be an A class testimony. Amen. Thank you, Father, for granting us grace to be disciplined, to be trained, to be educated, to be better than what we were before. Help us, Lord, that we'll never forget tonight's service. Amen. Take all the glory to our Father. Amen. For those about to make choices, Lord, help them in their decision-making process. Amen. For those that have problems, grant them executive problem-solving skills. Amen. Let them have A-class results. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Amen. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. If you're truly blessed, now let's give the Lord a round of applause. Amen. I hope that was refreshing for someone. Yes, sir. You know, a father must turn to his children. A father must help somebody come out of the confusion. That thing is not ending there. I mean, it's not an end. It's a bend. It's not over. Yes, sir. God is with us. Amen. All right, tonight let's package our givings to God. If you have been giving 20 naira, but nobody should know you do that. Let me just tell you something. Listen, folks. Church does a lot of things and it needs a lot of money. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Don't be deceived. Church needs money. One of Satan's efforts is to make sure that we don't have so much money so that we cannot do so much things or so many things. Somebody reached out to me and said he needs money just yesterday. At least three people. One person had a situation. People have situations. A church must be well funded. Otherwise, the church will be preaching poverty. Do you know what I'm talking about? I, I don't know if you're, you know, do you know if I was broke now? I'll be seeing all of you as money. <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? If I was broke, I would not be thinking of, ah, can we disobey the church? Do you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. By the grace of God, at least I can say I'm not in the By the grace of God. And I can promise you, I will not be. I can never be broke. It's not for my. If I'm talking about funding church, it's not my pockets. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm talking about the church. There are many things we can do. Many things we can do. We have to pay rent. I mean, not the yes. things we have. We have to pay rent. We have to do more. You know, if we do more for this, more people come to church. Yes, sir. Some people don't believe that the church is there. Yes. And they don't know. Some people are in nice here, we don't know. But with more publicity, we might be able to do better. So I want to tell you that I noticed from my findings that a lot of people are not faithful with giving. So if we carry basket around now, people will drop envelope. We we'll think there's plenty of money inside. Until you ask the ushers and the count, I want to call. You'll be surprised what they are counting. You understand? It's very funny. Then you say transfer. Some people did transfer. I can tell you that some people did not do transfer. Some people are not faithful with their tithe yet. And they are still thinking that um, Titan is going to pastor's pockets. It's not fair, eh? especially if you're a member of the church. And you know that you say, Pastor, can't know if I don't tight. I will know. I said that I will know spiritually. Is that I will know by checking the accounts. Amen? Amen. I will know. And I'm not going to hide it. It's important that we tight. But do you know tight? Are you guys aware that it's tight? Yes, sir. Are you aware? I tight so that you don't think I just. I give, I give. I pay my own tithes every week. So that you don't think that I pass it just I, I give and I give generously as much as I can, as much as God has blessed us. So I want us to be generous. Amen. Amen. I said, Amen. Amen. The quality of conversations you are having should propel generosity from you. I know this should come without saying it, but sometimes it's good to say it so that you can know. How to guide people's responses. Be generous. All right? Let's give to our tithes and our friends. All right? So, if we can, if you're casting your tithe tonight, please be upstanding. That's between Sunday and now you have not tithed or you're about to tithe tonight. Please give me a chance to pray with you online and on site. God bless you. God bless you, both of you. Any other person? If you're giving your offerings, please collect the offering envelope before we finish praying for tithes. I just want you to know that generosity is the spirit. It's not so much about your money. It's about generosity. And I think it's a good thing to be generous towards God. All right, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for these tithers. 
online and on site, we ask God that you bless them massively in Jesus' name. Amen. Let their acts of generosity towards your kingdom not go unrewarded. Let it come back with a testimony of the faithful. And let your name be glorified. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Don't forget to come with your prayers on Saturday. We'll be praying together just on some things to give thanksgiving. Not really to pray afresh. Just in spirit of thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Jesus. Let's lift up our envelopes for offerings. If you have, if you need the offering envelope, please ask for it. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, if you are giving your phone, you can raise up your phone also. That's if you are doing a transfer. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to cast our offerings tonight. We ask, Lord, that this act of faith, Lord, will not go unrewarded in Jesus' name. Amen. Rather, Lord, it will come back to us as a harvest, a basket of harvest, the basket of the angel of the blessing, the, the, the angel of the basket will bring us, Lord, a harvest. Thank you, Father, because no one here goes the same. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to encourage you to just be generous. Eh? Be generous. Some of the times, you know you have extra cash. Be generous. Be generous. The church is an accountable church. We just collected our accounts for the past since inception. Yes, we're, we're, we're doing well in terms of records taken and all of that. So at least, I want to encourage you to be generous, be kind. Have your church in mind. Okay. Okay. Someone just bless 100k. Okay. Your church. I'm not even saying me yet. I'm in mind too. But I'm saying be general. I'm not. I'm not too in mind. Yes, sir. Uh, ah, that's how you say it's church. You say pastor. You say church. I'm in my own church. The truth is that church is not me. Are you listening to what I'm yes, saying? Yes, sir. We have designed our church enough that what goes to church is church. What comes to me is me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, I'm just trying to let you know. So. There's no reason to be afraid. Be generous. The accountability of the church is structured. Yeah? And um, you will see your church grow. We want to do, I want to do 12 billboards. 12. The cost of one billboard is 1.2 million. After pricing like we're beggars. I don't know if you know what I mean. And we need not very big ones. Some of you know the one on CMT Road. Not as big as that. 1.2. Look, people don't know we're here. And people read this word, sir. Yes, sir. Don't be saying, what's up? You can hear me and hear me say. I personally believe that any youth, I've been saying this for the last four years, that misses it in life, in mm -hmm. I boast in God. <laughs> I say that. And I've been doing this for years. Imagine how many youths are confused. Imagine one youth, one that one boyfriend, I'll be able to see. Miss David. I promise you, did not meet me. If you meet me and I hold you, you can't feel. I tell you, you can't. I'm no longer guessing. I've done this too well, and I'm not only saying you not feel in marriage. You also not feel in finance, Malachi. You will not feel in life. So we need to share the gospel. If we are truly good, people need to know. Huh? And we are solid. <laughs> we are solid. Uh, but we need to grow, and finances needs to show. I hope tonight you've been blessed. Let's rise to our feet. Father, we thank you. Blessed be the church, the grace and peace. We are so glad to us through knowledge of God our Father and of Jesus Christ our Lord. Look at your neighbor for me. Say grace and peace to the person. We are so glad to see you through knowledge of God our Father. Upon yourself, finally, please. It's nice to be by the grace of God tomorrow morning online. Till then, please. God bless you. Good to be back home. I love you.